<laughs> okay, guys, but I asked you. I asked you whether you could hear me, right? So you are to blame. Oh, fuck. I have to repeat, you know, so I have been telling so many amazing things, like, uh, you know, so we have found an investor, and so BlackRock is going to invest in Waves, but okay. <laughs> but it, it's gone. It's gone. It has been muted. So it won't happen. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you hear this at least, guys? Can you hear this? Please confirm. Oink, oink. <laughs> okay, so uh, I will start my animation future with this every time. Uh, so it was fun, you know, to, to, to give such a, like, you know, exciting speech and being on mute. So, okay, so it's gone like tears and rain, and it's not going to be uh, repeated again. So, guys, you didn't hear it, and you won't ever experience this again. So, <clears throat> okay, so what was what I was talking about. So what happened last week? Marketing DAO was funded, which is great, because now it can start operation properly. Uh, and there is some team that I collaborate with the marketing DAO already. Uh, Wage Lance is one of the teams, and they have already sent their tokens to the treasury. Uh, so the idea of marketing DAO is very simple. Uh, power stakers in the DAO can make decisions regarding waste marketing. And if they cooperate with some teams who pay uh, to the DAO with tokens, uh, those people who uh, participate in marketing governance can basically have those tokens. And, and it's starting, so it's starting next week. Uh, and uh, this is good because I think uh, this is like a serious uh, step towards like full decentralization of everything on waves. Uh, marketing uh, uh, is one of the things that can be decentralized, and now it is actually. Uh, so thank you for uh, the people who voted um, uh, for uh, marketing funding. Uh, basically, thanks to them, we can really start marketing DAO now. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, like like staying on the topic, uh, there is several other DAOs starting. Uh, Neutrino DAO had to start uh, this week. Unfortunately, it is postponed until next week. Uh, people are traveling, so basically there is some details uh, to iron out. So Neutrino DAO will start next week, and I can maybe give you some uh, teaser. Also, WX DAO is starting. Uh, there's going to be a nice idea, I think, uh, for WX. I think you you love it, or or at least you will appreciate uh, the idea. Uh, Neutrino uh, DAO announcement will be I don't know on Monday or on Tuesday, uh, and also next week you know, there's going to be an announcement for WX DAO. And also Mother DAO will be voting for those proposals. So people who stake their tokens in Mother DAO, mostly people who received an airdrop, uh, will be able to participate finally in something, in governance. As you know, in Mother DAO, you have to vote if you want to receive staking. If you don't participate in governance, yeah, you get nothing. Uh, this is a very simple idea, some kind of slashing. Uh, skinning the game approach, uh, which is being implemented in uh, uh, Power Protocol. This is the, the very idea of Power Protocol. So what else uh, happened the last week? A lot of things under the hood. Uh, StageNet release of uh, Waves 1.5 uh, has been prepared. Uh, so we will have it at the beginning of next week, I guess. Testnet is coming, and in October we will have the release of Waves uh, 1.5. Uh, DAOs are coming, which is amazing. Uh, and next week, I think we will have a big pit campaign. We need more people in Waves. Waves is kind of like, as you know, not in its best shape. Uh, it has never been in a very good shape, to be honest. <clears throat> I'll be very, like, blunt, guys. <laughs> I never liked what was happening in Waves in my life. 
uh, it was all underwhelming. Underwhelming. So I, when people say let's make Waze great again, yeah, it's bullshit because Waze has has never been great. Uh, we need to make Waze great without again. So uh, to do that, we need more people. And Pete, I think, in, is a nice thing. This mean token, which is called Pete, is a nice way to attract more people. So next week we will focus on this campaign. Which is meant to bring some like fresh blood to Waves. Uh, and after uh, next week, the week after next, we will continue with the power campaign. We will bring more people, and uh, the focus will be different uh, because there's going to be a Mother Dow Treasury, and people will be able to deposit in Mother Dow Treasury because Mother Dow has to have its own treasury. Uh, but next week, Pete is coming. There's going to be some rewards uh, for uh, people who uh, buy Pete at $1 first. It's not announced yet, guys. When I announce it, then it starts. So if you try to, like, you know, to play some tricks now, like buying some, like, a liquid pair and saying that it's like, well, look, it's $1. No, it's not going to work. So it's going to work only after I've announced that, right? So it's not working yet. Uh, but this will be like the gist of this campaign to basically take Pete to one dollar, uh, and we will have an airdrop. We'll bring more people to the Telegram chat. So there's going to be like thousands of bots, like and uh, uh, everything as you like it. You know, uh, everything, everything that you love, guys. You know, so uh, making voting great again. Yeah. So basically, that's it. Uh, and at the end, I will maybe at the, at the end of the AMA, I will uh, maybe uh, summarize uh, our plans again. Uh, and now to your questions, because I basically re had to repeat the same speech twice <laughs> so, because I'm stupid, right? So, okay. But this is like everybody knows that. Uh, so uh, please ask me your questions, and uh, please uh, bear in mind that it's not a fat, it's not the fat chat. So it's not the fat chat. It's like official chat. So it's it's a bit moderated. It's a little bit moderated. It's like it's not like censored or anything. But you know, if you like, uh, if you try to be like too forward, you know there is a chance that you will be banned here. So please, please, uh, you know, uh, observe some rules, at least, of, like, civil behavior. <laughs> so, uh, to your questions. Did you give away the price uh, for, uh, yes, a uh, person received 1,000 PT yesterday, as far as I know. Uh, today, we don't have any activity uh, I just, I was very busy with other things. I forgot. Uh, and what do you mean, Mother Dow can Mother Dow will have to vote for spending power tokens to those upcoming DAOs because um, there is going to be some treasury swap when Mother Dow issues power tokens, send them to child DAOs, and child DAOs in return send something to uh, power uh Mother Dow Treasury, yeah, because we're gonna start uh, Mother Dow Treasury. So this is the idea to have a very big Dow with like potential. Uh, now it's small, and maybe you're gonna like, um, uh, may, uh, like you know, laugh at me for this, you know. But uh, everything started small, you know. Uh, so Mother Dow is gonna have its own treasury, and there's gonna be treasury swaps between uh, Mother Dow Treasury and uh, Child Dow Treasuries. And uh, mother DAO participants will have to explicitly vote for those swaps. So basically for issuing power and selling it to the child DAOs. So this is going to be happening uh, starting from next week. Uh, the DAO market is launched. So, uh, yep. Uh, ooh, cool, yes. Yeah, so, but a power campaign, basically, yeah. So uh, marketing DAO was launched with the idea to do a power campaign. And I think it's quite successful. It's not like groundbreaking or anything, but it's okay. And this is only the first stage. Uh, as I said, the second stage is going to happen in, in a week, in a week's time. 
not next week, but uh, the week after. Uh, and now you can actually participate in uh, Marketing DAO decisions because Marketing DAO has been uh, funded with Waves DAO. So there is now like a uh, necessity to deposit funds into the treasury. Uh, the teams will bring their tokens and the first team, Wavelands team has already spent 1,000 tokens to the DAO. And basically uh, you will be able to share those tokens with the, like with the marketing team. Marketing team will have like a small share, 20%, because it, it like it receives salary, right? Uh, and you will have the rest. But maybe let's maybe uh, like have some kind of like separate discussion of how marketing DAO should work uh, later or separately. Separately. Why do the team aims to assist Waves DAO in achieving this object? How this proposal increase Waves DAO treasury? Very simple. Marketing DAO will help all the projects that participate in Waves DAO, like for free, kind of like no, like if if they want something like like I don't know, publication in Forbes, or like some kind of like coverage on CNN, it's not going to be for free, right? But if they want just like basic uh, social media coverage, content creation. So it's going to be done for free by Waves marketing team for all the projects that participate in uh, uh, Waves DAO. And that should, in turn, uh, grow the value of uh, Waves DAO treasury, right? Because uh, this is marketing. And marketing usually helps projects grow. And Waves DAO treasury has the tokens of those projects. So, uh, Mother DAO can potentially fund those DAOs not only with power tokens, but with some funds from th from its own treasury. Yes, when this treasury is like formed, it's not there yet. For now, what Mother DAO can do for child DAOs is to send them some power tokens in return for some tokens from the child DAOs. It's called a treasury swap, basically. Uh, do you plan on being more transparent on how, when, where the future power distribution will happen? I think it's very simple. I think Mother Dao itself has to vote on the future distributions. You know, it's a good question. Uh, and I, I always enjoy your questions. See me, you always ask, like, thoughtful questions, not some not some just like random questions, but questions with meaning. Thank you very much. So uh, the answer is the following, basically. Let's just probably uh, get Mother Tao to decide on uh, the schedule of the following uh, uh, airdrops. That was the initial idea, actually. So to do the first drop and uh, the subsequent drops uh, uh, are governed by the DAO itself. The DAO decides when the time is right to do the drop. So, and when w w when is the right time? Basically, uh, the, uh, the right time is when y y you don't crash on the power token value if you do the airdrop, because it has to be like it has to be expensive, it has to be scarce. So, if you just drop power token and people start selling. There is no like reason to do that airdrop. So it has to be done at the right moment. And I think uh, it, it also has to be subject to governance. Uh, that's what my idea is basically to get Mother Tao to decide when the next airdrops will be taking place. USD, WG, to one uh, one on one uh, one to one when yeah okay yeah guys so the situation is, it has not changed a lot we keep buying uh, those uh, WG uh, tokens with fees from WX the fees are very low currently and uh, we are working and we are thinking how we can increase them 
Uh, because for now, this is the only way. Of course, we are trying to talk to VCs, but it's going, uh, to be honest, very slow. Uh, and I can't promise you that we will be able to strike some deal with VCs or whatever. So I'm not going to promise you that. Uh, although it's possible at a certain stage. Uh, but probably to reach that stage, we have to, uh, you know, to do something without VCs. The VCs are coming when they can see, uh, like, can, can, like, smell uh, the money, you know. So it's like <laughs> they are not, like, investing in something with unclear future, to be honest. You know, so people, when they're saying that, like, one of, like, 10 startups is successful and the venture investment is risky, this is bullshit, this is not, this is not how they operate. Like, you know, proper VCs invest in only something that is going to bring them money, like, immediately. You know, <laughs> this is how it works. All the rest is bullshit. And don't, don't believe anybody who's, who tells you otherwise. Uh, so we have to basically come up with some methods to increase the volumes on WX. And uh, I think there's going to be some announcements soon, so there's going to be derivatives markets. I was kind of reluctant for years to launch futures on WX because due to many reasons. Uh, but actually, uh, WX setup technical uh, uh, lends itself very nicely to derivatives. And I think uh, that could actually increase the volumes considerably, and this is what we're going to do now. Uh, we're going to launch uh, a derivative DEX, futures DEX, kind of similar to, I think, to DY, D, DY uh, uh, DX, at least from uh, like flow perspective and uh, user experience. Uh, and I think that should considerably increase uh, the volumes and the buyback amount. So for now, this is what we're doing, guys. Buying back those uh, deep-packed stable coins with WX fees. Uh, come up with a new 500 million scam. You can do that, man. Do that. Uh, Sasha, do you know anything about Binary's market project? Yes, I, I was on a call with them. Uh, they're like more Spanish slash Turkish team, I guess, all time uh, waves participants, like OGs. I kind of like haven't heard from them for years. You know, so it was a very nice surprise. And I was like pleasantly surprised that like they're still there, they're still in waves. And uh, it's, it's, it's binaries, you know, this is like binary options thing, <clears throat> which is pretty big uh, uh, in like Forex related circles. Like it's something that like grew out of Forex in the real world. Uh, in crypto, binaries are not so popular yet. Due to the many reasons, I think you should talk to the team. So it's kind of like complicated. So I'm not like in a position to maybe uh, discuss uh, the, uh, like the technicalities and subtleties of binary markets. Uh, but it's a very nice product if you like for, for gamblers, basically. So if you don't want to wait, you know, a lot till your position uh, Closes like you know, so yeah, you play binaries because you just bet on the direction of the market, whether it goes down or up, and it takes it can like it you can uh, hold this position like for five minutes, and it's fun, uh, it's very profitable for uh, the platform actually because people lose people lose money there, you know. So due to uh, probability theory, you know, there's some edge like Casino Edge, which is uh, quite high, maybe it's 10% usually, and uh, it basically uh, allows to make a lot of money for the platform. Uh, so I think that uh, the project is very promising. I, I'm glad 
to have it. And you need to understand that like trading is a very big thing in crypto right now. You know, this is probably the only thing. So uh, as you know, I'm like, I'm not a big fan of this <laughs> at all, uh, but it has to exist, obviously. And it's very nice that people build on waves. Uh, the team is very professional. Uh, and I think they will have some support from VCs eventually. Maybe they will do, do a launch pad launch. So, and I will be very happy for them. Uh, Uh, what, what, what? Wix will launch the derivatives. Yes, yes. Uh, Sasha uh, Vladimir, is he, uh, Vladimir from Puzzle is here. Uh, uh, what would you recommend to be the next big thing for Puzzle? Uh, for, 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 for a lot of things are happening on Puzzle and Puzzle Land. For example, the new LP market, I think it's pretty ingenious, basically, because it allows you to basically uh, get APY from WX twice. It's very nice. Check it out. It's called LP market, actually. It's, it's a little bit sophisticated, I would say. It's like pretty difficult to understand for some users, I guess. But give it a try. I think it's very nice because basically um, you stake your liquidity from WX twice. and you get a very high APY, and it's pretty ingenious. Uh, so I really like what Puzzle does in terms of like those products which interact with other products. Aggregator is great, uh, and I think all uh, the products on, on Puzzle are pretty solid. So what what's next for Puzzle? Uh, what could I suggest? Uh, I like their like multi pool uh, because LP token in those multi pools uh, is like in behavior it's close to uh, basically some index token, and I think a Puzzle or maybe somebody else, uh, for example Neutrino, can develop that idea uh, further, creating those like index uh, pools where you can hold an LP token. Take it, receive like uh, the commission from swaps, but at the same time you have some kind of like a pretty stable asset because uh, those LP tokens from multi pools uh, they're pretty stable in value. And I think uh, Puzzle and maybe Neutrino has to have to develop that idea further. I think it can be a pretty interesting product uh, which nobody else has. Uh, and I think in Puzzle you can do a lot of things. Uh, there is uh, still a salt pack stablecoin, Pluto, which can be further improved. Uh, it has been like damaged by the waves situation in general, but I think it can still come back. So there are a lot of ideas. And uh, my idea about lending markets actually, and I'm thinking where to implement it. Uh, maybe on Virus again, is uh, fixed interest lending. Uh, it's pretty easy to do, actually. It's much more secure, and uh, maybe uh, Puzzle Land can do that as well. Uh, uh, it's not like there's no utilization, basically. Uh, uh, you just know uh, what percentage you'll pay if you are a borrower and you know what percentage uh, you will have to uh, you, you get if you're a lender. It can be easily done and it provides some kind of like uh, certainty, you know, regarding your situation. Because uh, uh, I don't like lending protocols in general. I think uh, they're very dangerous, as you know, in the real situation. There is a lot of things that can go wrong. Uh, but this like pooled lending, actually, I think can work, but on some other terms. 
and one of the ideas that like I would like to implement is fixed interest lending. Uh, lending. So let's see how it goes. And maybe, maybe, maybe Vladimir can do that as well. Uh, why didn't you use sign art or puzzle to mean the PIT NFT? Good question, actually, but I think it's compatible. Or it is not. It's just like, you know, so there's a, uh, uh, there's a coder that is helping me. It was puzzle, and he just did it, and basically uh that's it so if it's not compatible with sign art just let me know because i thought it was uh any more delays in uh, the l2 launching on stage net no no it's not l2 so it's like waves uh l2 is not there yet uh it's waves 1.5 it's said like some kind of like a transitionary release before 2.0 uh it has some nice features it has some uh, new smart uh, contract calls which are needed for uh, 2.0 but it's not 2.0 although uh the uh concept for 2.0 actually is there and so even some coding is already done uh but 2.0 is coming around january next year not not earlier guys there's a lot of work it's, it's a new, unique concept. We have been thinking a lot how to make it faster. And actually, we spent more time on thinking how to make it faster uh, rather than probably on the development itself. Uh, but, you know, now it's pretty hard to do anything new in blockchain technology because uh, like, I think this, there is some kind of like end game scenario now, not only for Waves, but for blockchain technology in general you know so to move further we will need some like totally different ideas like something totally new because that idea of like a consensus of um, a full synchronization of all like network participants uh is reaching its like its limit you know so to move further you need to come up with some like totally different ideas uh, it's not even zero knowledge. Zero knowledge is nice, but it probably improves the concept of blockchain. Uh, but there is no revolution, I would say. Uh, although zero knowledge is revol revolutionary in and of itself. Uh, in app Applied to blockchain is not so clear, actually, because now it, it doesn't really improve, unfortunately. Zero knowledge doesn't really improve anything right now. Uh, because it's it's not like it's just like uh, barely suitable for production, you know, like uh, production systems. Because uh, uh, like a year ago it was impossible, or like three years ago, uh, zero knowledge technology is moving forward. But to say that it's like uh, very easy to use, fast and ready for mass market would be like overstatement. It's not there yet. So maybe in three to five years it will be, but not now. Uh, so to move further, uh, you need like something really new. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we need to ban this guy called Implis because, guy, you are not in the FOD chat. I told you. Okay, you can do this in file chat as much as you want, but not here. Uh, is Waves 2.0 needed to launch L2? No, uh, kind of like L2 is Waves 2.0. And there's going to be more improvements uh, for a uh, basic layer of Waves for L1 after we launch uh, L2. But yes, you can say that L2 is Waves 2.0. But Waves 2.0 will be moving forward as well, you know. So it's not like the final release because now we want to launch L2 and then we want to focus on L1 again. Uh, Q Sparks, yeah, he should be un unbanned, I guess, because I know him from uh, a lot of like internal chats, including no chat. Let me 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I just saw a message from the team that my mic wasn't working. Uh, when L3? Never. L3 is not going to happen. I had my doubts about L2 as well, you know? <laughs> so, like, but okay, so we need EVM, and uh, why I wanted to launch L2 because everybody was asking when, guys, you will have EVM, and this is the answer. No, because it's very hard to implement EVM on L1 in Waves, and let's just keep it uh, the way it is without EVM and develop right because there is a lot of avenues for right as well, and let's have EVM on L2. And this is the idea. So, but as for L3 and all those like shenanigans that is happening on Ethereum, it's not for waves, I, I guess. I, I guess. Hey, Q Sparks, big power water, actually. <laughs> there is a lot of voting power you have, man. Uh, Okay, we banned some like stupid people here, which is fine. Uh, all stupid people are in the fat chat, <laughs> but also smart people. You know. Freeze APR on all puzzle land markets. Why? No, puzzle it's like puzzle land is a classical classical uh, lending protocol. It's like let's keep it at that. You know, so it means that you have utilization, you have like different interest, and I think Puzzle is doing fine. Uh, actually, uh, uh, Vladimir is pretty strict with the limits. Uh, so as you know, I borrow a lot of fun there. <laughs> Everybody knows that, uh, but he doesn't allow me to borrow too much. You know, so uh, he's doing great. Uh, so I think Puzzle Land is fine, uh, and you need to have a platform like that on your blockchain, I guess. It's like a classical landing, classical pooled uh, landing platform. But it's not the end of like landing protocols. They will uh, be uh, moving further, uh, moving forward. And uh, just five minutes ago, uh, I told you what I would like to do with uh, landing protocols. Yes, thank you. Yes, uh, like uh, binary steam is like it's pretty interesting because uh, there is like Wolf of Waves guy there who was in Waves in 2016. And then I kind of I lost track of him. But now he's back. As for uh, people are asking about um, derivatives, how they will be uh, working. So it's not going to be uh, done as a virtual AMM. Uh, for example, you can check Tsunami uh, if you want to see how it works. Uh, in Ethereum, it's, for example, it's uh, JMX. Uh, no, there's going to be matching. So it's going to work like WX works, but for derivatives. Basically, there's an order book, and you match orders from different parties. So it's not like virtual AMM when a new position uh, is opened against the liquidity provided by liquidity providers. So they just, like, they um, basically... Uh, take the other end of the trade, you know. It's not going to work like that. There is like a real matching as you see on Binance. And actually, probably we should have done that years ago. But we didn't. So we'll do that now. Okay, guys, more questions. This year possible to withdraw? Okay, we are doing our best. 
uh, to increase the fees. And basically, uh, I, I'm not sure about withdrawal because I probably need to understand that the idea is that we buy those tokens from the order book, right? So eventually, you should be able to set an order at one dollar, and it will be filled. So basically, basically, you will be able to sell your uh, WXG at one dollar. So it's not a withdrawal; it's in like it's trading. You have you sell it. Yeah, Dmitry Medvedev is here. Hi. <laughs> If you don't know, he's a great, he's a former Russian president and the guy who said this very famous phrase, he once said that he quipped, uh, hold on out there. Now we, we, ha we got no money, but you guys hold on. <laughs> like, and it was very, like to some like very old ladies, it was like, it was cool. Okay, more questions. Somehow in the fault chat, it was a little bit more. Alive, I would say. But okay, so we will switch between different chats and we will come back to um, Whoa, our Korean uh, supporter. Hi, hi, my friend. Happy to see you here. A long time, no uh, communication. Sorry, I, I didn't go to Korea. I will, definitely. So I really couldn't, you know. So, so many things, and I kind of like skipped uh, the, you know, the Seoul blockchain week. I just forgot when it was, to be honest, you know. So like so many things at the same time so it's really hard but i will be in korea definitely this year <sighs> no ben is there some more fun funny yes yeah, so you know so okay so we'll come come to fall chat next week but it's it's almost dead guys if you want to like make it make it a little bit more active i think you should start properly funny without repeating the same boring shit all over again, you know? <laughs> so come up with something new. Okay, guys. Yes, I think you see me. You asked good questions, as I said. Uh, some people want something yeah, for, in terms of like trolling, but their trolling is kind of boring, you know? So like they, usually speak about like the following things it's jail it's animal sex and it's coke you know it, i don't know what's like what it got to do with crypto but there is some connection you know because crypto people mention those things so often you now but guys i'm just not interested <laughs> you know <laughs> so maybe let's just let's just you know have those people somewhere else uh I'm just like generally don't care, you know, about either of those things, you know. So kind of like, but they care a lot, a lot. Like this is a very important thing in uh, in, in their lives, you know. So in in, in the life of like a crypto plebs, I would say, you know, it's like I have my theories, but maybe next time. Uh, okay, guys, so yeah, so I think uh, we need to switch between different chats. Uh, this uh, chat was very fun at the beginning when I was on mute and when I did this. <coughs> By the way, I can do it anytime. Uh, 
but not so many people here. So let's maybe uh, switch back to thought chat, or maybe let's come to some other chat next time. Maybe neutrino. Neutrino. Uh, I've never had an AMA in neutrino chat. And there is some like very funny people there. I don't know, maybe you saw David there. There's a guy called David there. He's amazing. He should be in the thought chat. Somehow he stays only in the neutrino chat. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Admins are too mean here. Probably uh, you are very, uh, you know, used. You, you spend too much time in the thought chat, maybe. <laughs> so, but it's like an official chat, so there is some moderation. Please understand. Uh, could you give an example of how marketing, by the way, is done marketing proposal would like for burn? They can do social media and content creation for you. Like you need retweets, you need uh, blog posts. They can do it for you, man. It's very obvious. It's like a strange question. Maybe they can help you with some AMAs or some campaigns. So just talk to them. Why are you talking to me? Talk to them. Yeah, I, I look tired. I'm a bit under the weather today. Yeah, kind of. Sorry, but I'm okay. I'm okay. What's up with NSBT and various token? NSBT uh, is Neutrino protocol and Neutrino DAO is coming. As for Virus, I just spoke twice uh on virus and on lending protocols in general so i like to maybe relaunch it as a fixed uh, interest lending protocol which would be unique nobody has done it in crypto yet uh covid soon come on man i don't want to have uh, covid again I didn't like it at all. <laughs> uh, when power airdrop for egg holders? No, 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 no. Yeah, nice, nice cat. Yeah. Protecting itself from COVID in tin foil <laughs> you know so uh, okay guys so i think i think we're done uh so next week uh power DAO will be voting for uh, issuance of power tokens to neutrino DAO. There is going to be an announcement from Neutrino DAO. There is going to be an announcement from WX. Uh, what else? Uh, Waves 1.5 on StageNet. And Pit Campaign. Pit Campaign is coming. So we need to bring more people over to Waves because Waves is great. Not again. <laughs> just great and more people should know about it uh thank you very much i love you all uh guys sorry uh some fathers that we banned to you uh here but i explained this is an official chat so take no offense you can say whatever you want in the thought chat i love you all guys including the people that we banned ride on waves and power to the people see you next week